Hello guys, once again this is Vivo Shukla. Today I'm gonna discuss very important topic of Strat Pro that is the design and modeling of industrial warehouses. Industrial warehouses are used in steel plants. So today you're gonna show how to design warehouses in Strat Pro VATI. So it's a gonna detail procedure, modeling, detail and analysis including. So here we'll go to the new project, click on space and we will select here as design of industrial warehouse meter and kilonewton will be the units so first of all what you have to do you have to change the grid settings so I'm going to the edit option so you can see in right value we will shift it to 16 as per our design requirement this is a very simple and easy method you won't have seen earlier in any other tutorials and you will see how to design your steel warehouse very easily and simple method it is so I will shoot it here and I will the height of is 7 meter We have done this. Now select these two beams, right click, insert node, and endpoints, click on 5. OK. Now select the whole structure, structure by pressing Ctrl plus A. There's a short key start pro Select the whole structure. Go to the geometry. Transitional repeat global direction will be Z. Number of steps I want 8. Default step spacing between each structure is 5. Link step and open ways we want. You see. Now go to the top view. Select this. Go to the new view. And I will create braces. On every alternate the corner structure, see this part is created now. On the in this uh, other hand, for the new view, we will okay. Now click on add beam. Display all structure. See this part is also done. Now we have to make on the taper type sections. So go to the top view, on the front view. Or simply go to the select beam parallel to Z. Now go to the new view. I will go to the again option that is add beam option. You can see from the top it is done. Now this build structure. The modeling part. This is a design of industrial waste house. That is of total steel plant. You can see in mechanical plants this warehouse is available everywhere. The parts are manufactured. Industrial warehouse are used in that particular sections. So this is the modeling part we have done. From this. 
now we're gonna make groups for assigning the properties so it will be easy to assign property instead of selecting one by one members so go to the tool create new group name as columns select type will be beam click ok now go to the select beam parallel to y associate to view click on associate now for the beams select beam click ok Now for these braces, left and right braces, so we'll name as LR braces. What we're gonna do is this and rotate it and associate now on the upper part create to select very carefully Now taper types. Taper type. So all the groups has been defined now is to assign the properties we'll use Mexican quotes channel section these two sections and And one OC pipes. Assign this property. Select my group name columns. Assign to selected beams. So this property has been assigned. Now for beams, I will select this. For this, I will select taper type 
but you see I wanted this only what is selecting all this so data type only assigned to selected beams now OC is for I'm selecting the upper braces define my remote section this is for this See all the properties has been assigned. Now we'll go to the isometric view. That is a 3D rendered view. You see this is the industrial warehouse in Strat Pro V8i. Now I'll go to the support, create fixed type of support. Now to apply the load and definition with the load case detail, select that load. then live load then win load dead load I will select a self weight that will be assigned to view only in live load for going that I will change it the input units to meter and kilogram For applying this load to the nodal, now I'm going to be friend here selling the nodes. Upper nodes. Now for applying build load, I will go to the definitions when load add. Putting high intensity of value 100 and height will be 7. Now I'm taking as now I'm going to the wind, selecting the wind load 0 to 7. Or I can change this from 5 to 7, 6 to 7, whatever you want, where you want, 4 to 7, and I will combine these loads, define combination. the analysis print select all click ok then I will go to the analyze run analysis
post processing results view value beam results maximum results annotate select beam parallel to y then view selected object only you see the maximum displacement the reaction of columns the bending moments the graphs see the animation if you want to see when wind will come the, see some parts of it moving node values so this is the way we design industrial warehouse that is the steel plant in Stratpro VTI and how the dead and live and wind load are applied on industrial warehouse that is of steel type if you have any queries regarding this tutorial post your comment as your queries and share as much as you can with your friends who are civil engineer i hope you have learned this is very important topic and required in industrial civil core companies to draw and make modeling analysis of industrial steel plant or warehouses the reactions you can see for the summary we'll go to the results animation This is the 3D part. So this is the way we design industrial warehouse in Stratpro VTI. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Do this model, and if you face some problems, kindly mail me or give comments, and I will answer as soon as you possible. If you want any more topic, just comment on my channel and visit my Facebook page. That is the board design area and i would like to come up with more new tutorials as soon as possible on my youtube channel and more videos are gonna get soon soon on this particular channel thank you very much once again stay blessed and stay raw keep rocking and keep loving designing